all right what is going on everybody welcome back to this nba 2k 23 my career and we have made it to the nba postseason postseason post season and you can see the playoff picture right here i guess they don't have the play in in my career which doesn't make much sense uh but for the western conference we are going up against one of the teams i fear to go up against probably if not one of the best big men duos in the league in the Minnesota Timberwolves with Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. And as you know, our big man situation is not good with Jabari Smith. It's not going to be Marquise Chris. I don't know why they keep messing up my lineup. It will be um, Sangoon. And I think um, Eric Gordon's hurt, so I don't know who's going to be in that small forward spot. It's a bit iffy. We got Dallas LA, which should be a amazing series. Uh, Memphis, Portland, and New Orleans, Phoenix on the Western Conference side. On the East... The one-seeded Sixers will be taking on my favorite, my team, the eight-seeded Miami Heat. The Hawks will be taking on the Cavaliers as a 4-5. Bulls make it as a three-seed. They'll be taking on the six-seeded Milwaukee Bucks. I got the Bucks, bro. And the Nets will be taking on the seven-seeded Raptors. So, so never your team's missing. The Warriors are missing. And on the Western side, I can't think off the top of my head who else is missing besides the Warriors. And, oh yeah, the Nuggets are also missing. And for the East, that seems about right for the top eight team. The Celtics are missing. Huh. So, I don't know if I can see the standings. Yes, I can. I can see it right here. Um, so, not all. Conference standings for the Eastern Conference. The Hornets just missed out by two games. So did the Wizards. The Celtics are bad. 38 and 44. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, really, only the Celtics are the only team that missed out. That's surprising. And for the West, the Lakers missed out by a game. Uh, Warriors missed out by three games. Nuggets missed out. Yeah. So these three teams are teams I did not expect to miss out on the playoffs. But they did. And look, we don't have to go up against Nikola Jokic, who would have killed us. Don't have to go against Steph Curry or LeBron James. So I will take it. We were 56 and 26 on the season. You can see my season stats right there. 36.3 rebounds, 11 assists, and a steal a game. Now, let's get into the starting lineups. Marquise, Chris, you're not starting. You, honestly, you might not even get minutes because you are that ass. So, we'll have Sangoon. I'm going to fix these lineups, and I'll show you the starting lineup for game one. All right, here is the starting lineup. It will be me, Jalen Green. I decided to start Dylan Wendler. Yeah, I know. He's a 71 overall, and he hasn't even played this year. But the man can shoot. He's got a 77-3. That's one of the better on the team, which sucks that that's one of the best um three-point shots he has a c plus permanent defense which is okay and i mean his other competition was josh christopher who could start depending on how bad he plays uh but his three-point shot is not very good i need someone who can shoot tari eason he's okay david nawaba they had starting originally i just don't want him starting even though he's got a minus permanent defense and yeah eric orton and kenya martin are out for this game one they'll probably be back for game two but two huge players missing uh, for us, but I mean, this is the lineup we have to go with in game one. I can definitely see us losing the series, but because we're literally top heavy right here with me and Jalen Green and then Jabari Smith Jr. After that, falls off a cliff. Anyways, let's get into it. Oh, they didn't change my lineup. Okay, thank God. Because when I got into the locker room, my lineup was completely different because we got Kenya Martin Jr. back, so he will be playing off the bench. Uh, because he when he starts, he's ass cheeks. He cannot shoot. So, Dylan Windler, you're getting the start, but, yep, this big man duo is going to put fear into my heart. As D'Angelo Russell is going to start off with the miss, but offensive rebound and one to start off the game. That's how it's going to go. This is going to be a tough series for a 1-8 match. This is actually a re rematch of, what was it, 2018 when the Rockets were the one seed? I forgot that the Timberwolves were the eighth seed that year. I'm going right into the paint. Dylan Windler, your first shot. Can you make it? Nope, of course not. I should have figured. All right, well, Dylan Windler, you disappointed me on your first shot, so I guess I'm going to have to be the bulk of the offense like always. I was really hoping I can get some sort of sharpshooter in here. I, I'm going to need one. Hopefully, the um, free agents I uh, suggest will actually come here to this team, and our GM will actually sign them. If not, we're going to be in dire streets because I need another wing, and I need... Wow, what a layup by D'Lo. Jabari, where'd you go? I need a wing, and I need a big man. That's literally, this team's missing a small forward and a center, and then if we get those two, we're set. We are so set for the future. Jabari Smith Jr. E, oh, nine and one. They already sub, 
the Sengu Sengun already picked up his second foul. So now we got to run small with Usman Garuba. Oh, boy. We're in trouble here. Dylan Windler, come on. Knock it down. Um, We need Eric Gordon back. Come on, Windler. Hold your own. You held your own because he didn't even attempt the shot. Bad shot from D'Lo. We don't get the rebound, and they're going to get an open three. Yep, this is gonna. This series is going to be the death of us. We might actually get knocked out by an eight seed. There's, there's a very good chance the eight seed knocks us out. We're going to be frauds. We're going to be the worst one seed of all time, which we probably are. Can I knock down a three? That's a green. Yeah, I actually hit it. Let's go. And Jabari Smith causes Carl Anthony Towns to get his second foul. And he's going to have to go to the bench. I will take that one for one cat for Sengun. I'll take that 10 times out of 10, to be honest. And we are now only down by one. They have to sub in Kyle Anderson, which will help us because now they can't run a two big man lineup. Even though we've got Usman Garuba on. Ja Gobert as I get the steal. And Jabari Smith gives us the lead. And the Timberwolves have to call a timeout here. Down by five. We are ro rolling. Like, yeah, we're rolling. I was going to say we are firing on all cylinders. We are also rolling. Seven points, two rebounds, three assists. I have a three. I have two steals, I believe, already in this game. They have Ant and Gobert in the game. They brought in Jordan McLaughlin for our D-Lo, who has been struggling against me. We have been, we've had him locked up, which is great because D-Lo is one of those players that will just kill you in 2K. Usman Garuba, I need you to hold your own on Gobert. I need you to hold your own. And you do. And you do. Good stuff, Garuba. Jalen Green. Oh, bad pass. Bad, bad pass. You can hold your own, Jabari. McLaughlin's going to be wide open, though. That ain't good. And he hits it. Jabari's fits already got 12 points in this game. I have seven, and I think Jalen Green has two. So we have combined the big three for all of our points in this game. Jalen Noel is getting clamped up right now. He can't go nowhere. He's absolutely in purgatory right now. Nope, not letting that happen. Jabari Smith's got that on locks. Jabari Smith has got that on locks. And I'm going right to the paint. Drawing a foul in one. We can't be stopped. And I'm obviously going to get benched. I should have got benched a while ago. Now let's see what our bench truly does. I don't know. We still got Jalen Green out there. Still got a six-point lead. I will take that every day of the week. Deal had a good year, too. 20 points, 8 assists. Very good year. All right. Up by six. Let's extend on this lead. Let's extend this lead. We have kind of a our best lineup possible out with KPJ in here. And who are they leaving open? Oh, Jalen Green's playing the small forward. Yep, that messed me up a little bit. K what are you doing, KPJ? I was going to cut... You should have waited, and now I don't have... What is happening? That's not who I wanted to pass it to, 2K. Oh, my God. There's another three. Two for two from downtown. 16 points in the first quarter. I've now got, I believe, 19. Two for two from three. That is a first for a while. Saving it for the playoffs. Delo's trying to cut to the paint. He gets denied. Anthony Edwards with the ball. He is going to go straight to the paint. Take a shot over two defenders. It's off. I'm down to the races. And D'Lo is the only man to beat. And I put it in. Double digit lead for the Rockets. 21 points. 9 for 10 for Gerald Johnson. The only miss comes from a block earlier in the game. He misses the second. We got 18 seconds left. I'm going right to the basket. And I'm going to give it to Josh Christopher. Come on, knock it down, bro. He doesn't. Wow. Do I need my dime on a Hall of Fame for my teammates to actually hit shots? Because, man, this is crazy. And McLaughlin gets right by me. Garuba with the block. Hell no. How? I was there. His jump shot's so slow. I was there to contest that, and he still hit it. Well, we're now only up by four after leading by 11 several times in the second quarter. Second chance points are not helping. The Heat won game one? Bro, ain't no way. Nah, nah, nah. Show that bracket again. I need to see that box score. This is actually a cool screen. I wish this was like the My League screen. But the Heat won game one, and the Raptors also won game one. All the underdogs besides the Bucks won in the Eastern Conference. That is dope. Third quarter's been uneventful, as you can see. The score is still the same. 
We are running a super small lineup though. We took Jabari Smith Jr. out for some reason. And we now have got Kenya Martin Jr. in. Who... He... You can't hit an open three. But you can hit a step back in the paint with Cat in front of you. I mean, I will take it. But how in the hell did you get that to go, D-Lo, bro? You ain't doing nothing against me. But Cat is just going to bully us offensively with Kenya Martin Jr. on him. He's only got four rebounds, though. That's because Gobert's got 15. But, I mean, I'll, I'll take what I can get. That's an easy lob. There we go, Kenya Martin Jr. I wish you could choose between if you want to activate Team Takeover or not. Because right now, I should not be in the game. Literally, both teams' benches are in the game. And what a steal by KJ Martin. Oh, I'm going right to the paint with him. That was not what I wanted to, okay? But, oh, okay, whatever. We'll, we'll play it like that then, I guess. But, yeah, I should literally shouldn't even be in the game right now. Wow, Garuba blocked that, but Christopher ruined it. Yeah, both teams got their bench in. There is no reason I should be playing right now. But since 2K wanted to activate Team Takeover without my consent, uh, I'm stuck in the game. As it is 11-point game, I guess we can extend this lead a little bit more for when I do go to the bench. So, that would be good. There's only four minutes left in this third quarter anyways. KJ Martin straight to the basket. Doesn't make it. Final seconds of the third quarter. Anthony Edwards going to pull up for the fading three, and he's going to knock it down to cut the lead to 23. And that is going to do it for this third quarter. Heading into the fourth, 95 72 lead for the Houston Rockets. Their defense has not been able to stop our offense. 33, 17 assists, and 5 rebounds for Gerald Johnson. It's looking damn good for this Rockets team. As we near the end of the game, I've learned one thing. Dylan Windler is never playing a playoff game again. He is terrible. I left D'Lo wide open. He still missed, bro. He is playing ass as he almost gets to steal there. But yeah, he has not been playing good. I've kind of had him locked down. But yeah, Dylan Windler will never play a game again. He is ass cheeks. Absolute garbage. Jabari Smith Jr., though, is amazing. Game one of the playoffs for his career, and he has 36 points. He might have more points than me, actually, now that I think about it. Because I have 22 assists. If these stupid things go away on my screen, uh, that'd be nice so I can see how many points. 30. Yeah, he has more points than me. For once. For once, I am not the leading scorer as Sengun is going to get the steal. Oh, I'm going right to the paint with Jabari as I pass it to Dylan Windler for some stupid reason. Oh, Jalen Green's got Gobert on him? He's got Gobert on him? That's easy for Jalen Green. 17 seconds left. That's game. We're up by 24. What a victory for the Rockets in game one. Unexpected. 33 points, 5 rebounds, and 22 assist for gerald johnson unbelievable game he gets 36 from his teammate jabari smith jr that, that's got to be some sort of record breaker or record that is some sort of stupid espn stat they'll pop up but we take game one of this first round one eight seed that i was expecting to be a little bit more competitive but definitely wasn't and your final box score jabari smith jr if he didn't attempt any threes he would have only missed one shot. That says a lot right there. 36 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, and 1 block for him. Game of his career in Game 1 where we needed it. Where we didn't have a single double-digit rebounder. Gerald Johnson, 33 points, 5 rebounds, 22 assists, 1 steal, 5 turnovers. But I had 22 assists, so that assist to turnover ratio is still very good. 13 for 18 from the field. 2 for 2 from downtown, which is the best for me. Uh, Jalen Green also gave us 26 and 7. He won't be able to fit in the thumbnail, though. Not going to lie. But amazing game from Jalen Green. Josh Christopher gave us 10 off the bench. Maybe he'll start next game. I don't know. Sangoon gave us 7 and 7 with 3 steals and a block. Kenya Martin, KJ Martin gave us some great minutes off the bench. Other than that, Wendler, you're never playing again. That's just simple as that. And Garuba gave us 2 blocks, I saw. For the Timberwolves, it was really the Carl Anthony Towns show and no one else. And he was in foul trouble on top of that. 24 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2 steals. Only missing 4 shots on the night. D'Lo, I had this man in hell. 13 points, 5 for 21 shooting, 1 for 10 from 3. Un unbelievable. He was awful. 
Anthony Edwards only attempted eight shots this game. Jalen Green had, yeah, he's playing the shooting guard. No, he's actually playing the small forward. So Dylan Windler had this man not even attempting shots. He ain't start. He ain't playing next game. But Dylan Windler showing up defensively. Rudy Gobert, 11 points, 17 rebounds as expected. Only two blocks. Only took eight shots, and he had eight offensive boards. McLaughlin gave him good minutes off the bench, but other than that, it was not enough to win game one. That's going to be for me. If you like, guys, enjoy. Subscribe, guys. Are new. GG.